All right, man. There's about a hundred different ways you can approach things, right? A stock G4, the the one without the bridge is better than the one with the bridge. As you can see, 40 millimeter stroke at BDC, the piston protrudes. And I always check my squish with the chosen base gasket, chosen head gasket, and I set my squish up first. But what I really set first is my transfer duration. Stock G4 cylinder is a 110 on the leading one. I don't stagger stuff. I did all that. Sometimes I have open transfers. Sometimes I don't. So there's a couple ways you can approach free transfer duration without grinding that leaves radiuses in the corner and messes directional flow is. One, you can ramp. Two, you can jack. You can jack it by stacking some less crushable, thinner gaskets. You can make a spacer plate, or you can buy a fancy spacer plate, right? So I want to set my port timings first. Then once I determine that, and seeing this one protrudes, it's pretty simple. And you got to keep in mind, you're starting out with a stock base gasket, right? So whatever the thickness is, you got to do some simple math, man. This ain't rocket science. I'm going to probably end up breaking this one because it's difficult to do holding a phone. And this gasket's been on and off about 5,000 times on a motor. So let me just get this piece of crap off and I'll show you real quick. The better option, if you can surface a cylinder, would be to get your sector transfer duration without grinding them if possible what changes when you do this crankcase volume increases slightly uh intake duration goes down slightly which can be fixed by simply skirting your piston uh so you've seen what it looked like before you've seen it at a 110 now i just simply stack the appropriate size gaskets that makes me happy which is so much better. I don't lose any compression with the ramps. You know, somebody keeps asking me, do I stagger my ramps when I do that to make them open evenly? No, that, that's, that's like retarded, damn near impossible. So having a staggered ramp would be stupid. Yes, I look at port separation. Now, as far as what happens now, well, I retarded my transfers. I increased my exhaust duration, increased my transfer duration, now my transfers are set at 120. My next move is to determine how much I need to deck off the cylinder. So with the head gasket, everything torqued, I see what the space is. I know what this measured. I know what these measured. So I remove that and set my squish at about 0.75 to 0.85 by, you, by decking it and choosing my base. That's that way I retain a good squish. Yada, yada, yada. I like to remove this angle because that's just bum. Most of my stuff I end up decking and I lose that angle, right? So there's a million ways you can approach the situation. Port shapes, exhaust roof port shapes. That matters. A flatter roof and a clean opening is always going to be better for peak power, right? It, it, it just is. All right, 33 millimeters wide. When I make them, that's 70% of the bore. <clears throat> like I said, sometimes I leave the transfer closed. I have machine these even. You can only get seven degrees total from machining. And then you start blowing through the outside. I have removed them. There's a million different ways you can approach the situation. You got to commit. You got you got to choose. You got to choose your duration. I look at blow down percentage. I look at blow down. I look at exhaust duration. I look at transfer duration. Always check your squish at your wrist pin. It eliminates piston rod. Best I can explain it, uh, roof shapes, power. A rounded radius roof is going to give you good mid-range power, a lot safer. I got all kinds of shapes, all kinds of boost ports. Narrow, thick, but all my boost ports are at a 25 degree angle. I don't know how better to word things or explain things. A jack cylinder and deck is going to be better than ramp because my flame front travels best with a stock piston. I can achieve my port timing I desire by lifting the cylinder. Like I said, you can lift it three ways. You can either lift the cylinder, you can either ramp the piston, or you can port 
the transfers. It, it's super simple. You got to choose what you want to do and how you want your motor to run. Don't know how better to explain it, but that's the three tactics, three approaches you can take, right? And I consider everything. Blow down, blow down percentage, exhaust duration, transfer duration, inlet duration. Window shapes. Oh, God. Talk forever. Too big of a window is bum. That's not too big of a window. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I've tested it all. This is an example of too big of a window. I want some port to remain in. That's a good shape window. Needed to be a little larger. So, tried it all. Been there, done it. Tried all the heads. Been there, done it. Tried all the carbs. Been there, done it. Tried all the pipes. Been there and done it. You got to start somewhere, man. And start less is better approach and squeak your way up. And exhaust port shapes. It just, I, I, I tried it all. I, I had to get rid of half my crap. Uh, just, just it piles up. So, trying to help you best I can. Trying to explain to you the best I can. The bigger the wheel, the more accurate it is. Got to go, man.